hello friends so in this video we will see that how we can use the new available android x package to you know implement the activity result api the new way basically reducing the boilerplate code and we will not be using the own activity result callbacks and all those methods but rather we'll be using the new available way that android x libraries provide us so let's get started so first of all to do this we need to import a new library to our gradle file to do that uh, you can head up to your browser and you can simply search for android activity x releases okay so like this so this is the first link where you can find the library itself so this is a part of the android x packages so in our case we'll be using the kotlin version because our project is in kotlin only so just implement it over here so we need to replace this version with the uh, actually we are going to use the alpha release because these new apis are only available in alpha release as of now not the stable one so just copy this and paste it over here so just delete this paste it over here and remove this unnecessary symbols or spaces and click on sync now so yeah our project uh, is now you know the library is imported to our project so now to implement the start activity for result and get the result back uh, what we need to do is we need to create two activities so here we have a empty activity like you can see it over here so basically i have a basic text view and i have a basic button uh, on click on this button uh, what i will do is i will open the new activity and uh, from that activity i'll send the result back to this previous activity okay so just provide a text over here so let's name it get result okay so similarly we will create a new activity over here so let's create an empty activity and we'll uh, give it the name of activity result yeah the name of the activity will be activity result and we'll simply press finish and what we can do is we can simply copy this layout from here and paste it in our new activity that is the result activity sorry like this and we'll change it to result activity so like this so here we'll change the name of the button to send result okay something like this send result and this text view isn't required so we'll remove this and the top to top of will be our parent so we are basically just aligning our layout a little bit you can ignore, ignore these steps okay so this um, button will actually send the result back we'll also change the id to send result okay so now what will happen is uh, we'll open that activity uh, by clicking this button and uh, uh, when we press on this button of the new activity uh, we'll just send the result back to our previous activity so to do that what we will do is we will simply uh, create a click listener for this button so like this import it and simply use the set on click listener method like this and here we can uh, simply start our new activity but uh, we'll be following the new API so first of all uh, we, what we will do is we will create a new uh, you know the we will register a new API over here so to do that what we need to do is we need to create a new variable let's say uh, result contract and now um, yeah like this and here we will use a new method called as register for activity result like this so here this will be accepting two things first is the activity result contract and second is a callback for the result we receive so to do that what we will do is we will uh, use this activity result contract over here and now sorry contracts actually so now it provides us with a number of methods or number of classes basically itself so in our case we will be using the start activity for result class so this is a class so we need to uh, actually create an instance of it 
so after that uh, we can simply use the callback it provides so that is the activity result itself so let's define it over here activity result like this okay so now to open the new activity what we need to do is we need to copy this variable from here and we will simply use the launch function okay so this is the launch function provided so simply press enter and we can see that it requires a new intent so intent in our case will be the in uh, we'll create a new intent for our new activity so let's create a new intent so let's name it as well intent sorry well intent mm. sorry for the typos actually so new intent like this so here we'll be using this this as the context and now here we'll be defining our result activity dot class dot java and we'll simply pass this intent to our launch function like this okay so the error will be gone so now basically what we are doing is we don't need to call the start activity for result method and we don't need to implement the own activity result or anything so we just need to use this launch method and this uh, what this will do is this will automatically do everything for us so we don't need to call the start activity for result and uh, whenever our activity sends the result back we can get that result over here so to do that what we will do is uh, if so we will be uh, making a check for the result so if result dot sorry result equal to equal to let's say result okay okay so basically not the result actually though dot result code equal to equal to result okay and this will be can be null so we'll do a null check so now uh, if the result code is result okay then what we will do is we will simply print it over here so let's say in our text view we'll print the text that uh, we got the result we got the result and otherwise if this is uh, result is not result okay then uh, what we will do is we will simply uh, show a new message fail to get uh, result something like this okay so now in our result activity what we will do is we will simply uh, add a click listener for this button also so set on click listener something like this and now uh, on the click of this button what we will do is we will simply call the set result uh, method and here we will pass result okay and we will simply uh, finish this ap activity but uh, on on back press basically if a user back pressed from the uh, hardware keys of his device or the soft keys from his device so what we will do is uh, we will set the result as result cancelled okay so we will simply copy this paste it over here and the result type will be result cancelled and we will finish the activity okay so now uh, we will run our application so let's wait so uh, basically what we have done till now is on click of a button we have opened our result activity and then we started waiting for the result and on press of the uh, send result button it will send a result okay otherwise result cancelled okay so these are basically a flags uh, for the result so uh, our application is running now so basically it is it is having a get result button so now uh, simply we'll click on get result and if we press send result you can see we get the result and now if we again open this activity and we, we simply press the back button it will show fail to get result okay so again so we'll click the send button send result it will show us we get the result and uh, this is happening because uh, here we have set the result and we have passed the flag as result okay and here we had a check that if our result code is result okay then we will show this get 
uh, we get the result uh, text otherwise we'll show fail to get result so in the case of on back pressed we are setting the result as result cancelled so it is entering in the else part so it is showing us a text fail to get result so this is a really basic example uh, and a very basic use of the new register for result activity result api and uh, you can see uh, some of my other videos so one is uh, how to pick images using three line of code so there also i have used this result uh, register for result api so uh, this is a very useful and uh, you know a new api that is uh, developed by the android team itself so also with the release of android 10 that we are using the sdk level 30 so the own uh, activity result method is also deprecated so this is the future so this is the basically upcoming uh, method that we'll all be started using from uh, you know uh, when it gets to the stable release uh, currently it is in alpha release only so once it uh, reaches to the stable version so we will start using this method and this is also available in java also so you can simply check out the documentation to see that how one can use it in in java projects also so that's it for this video so just press the subscribe button and the bell icon to get uh, notified for my upcoming videos so see you in next videos so bye bye take care